Allegations coming out of Perry County where a current and former sheriff's deputy are suing over sexual harassment. They say it went unchecked for months. Susan Elcori has a closer look at this case. A job to serve and protect took a turn towards hostility when Perry County canine deputy Christy Biddle claimed she was sexually harassed by her supervisor, Sergeant Keenan Carter. The words, the acts that was intimated should happen would be clearly offensive to somebody that I'm not even sure if you're married to him that the woman would appreciate some of those statements. Robert Newcomb represents Biddle in this lawsuit. In it, she claims Carter would take inappropriate pictures of her and demand she hug him, saying, you're not leaving until I get my hug. But Newcomb calls those the least offensive things that happened. Sergeant Carter would say in front of other employees and inmates, uh, stuff such as, uh, if you got some of my you would run your old man off. He says last September, Biddle took those complaints to Sheriff Scott Montgomery, something the suit claims led to her being put on a worse shift. He did not fire this deputy. He did not completely remove this sergeant from having any supervision of my clients. When we reached out to the sheriff and Sergeant Carter, we were told they had no comment. Last year, Carter was named Perry County's Law Enforcement Officer of the Year, an award handed out by the Attorney General's Office. Newcomb says at the same time, former Deputy Nathan Williams saw the alleged abuse, reported it, and then was forced out of his job. Went to the sheriff, you know, saying, you know, look, this is what uh, Sergeant Carter's doing. This isn't right. Uh, and they messed with him. All part of a case that's asking for more than just damages. We're asking for both that the sheriff, you know, develop and enforce a true sexual harassment policy. That was Susan L. Corey reporting. We also reached out to both the sheriff and Sergeant Carter's lawyers, but have not heard back. Sergeant Carter currently works for the sheriff's office in the criminal investigation division.